New details tonight on a set of twin brothers found dead inside the Chattanooga home Saturday morning. It's a story that's got everybody talking, at least for the past few days. Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 6. I'm Calvin Snead. I'm Kim Chapman. Late today, police told us they don't believe the men were killed, but there are still many unanswered questions. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin is live at their home on Acorn Court with more on the story. Good evening, Jerry. Well, Kim and Calvin, good evening. These weeds here are pretty much taller than me, and neighbors say it's pretty obvious that something wasn't right here. Today, we got our hands on these county property records, which show that the county was going to sell this property in June due to back taxes totaling $5,000. I think we all just need to, you know, start communicating a little better and, you know, checking on one another. Jimmy Galloway says that's the lesson he's learned in the ordeals surrounding the mysterious deaths of twin brothers Andrew and Anthony Johnson. Police and neighbors say the twins lived the lives of hermits and kept to themselves. You know, they would come out with their mask on and whatnot and do their yard work, but that was the only time you would see them. The twins owed about $5,000 in property taxes that had not been paid since October of 2009. How long can you go without paying your property taxes? Four years. You can go four years without paying your property tax before it goes into a tax sale, and then you have another year to redeem it. The county trustee's office says they sent out several notices to the Johnsons, many of which were returned. The county was scheduled to sell their property in June, but just this week someone came in and paid the tens, so that was allowing us to take it out of the tax sale. The 2010 property taxes were paid Monday by a woman named Lorraine Hayes, but who she is and how she's connected to the brothers remains a mystery. Not to mention the questions left about how long these men sat dead in their home. Police tried to check on them in 2011, but no one came to the door. They say there were no signs of suspicious activity so they had no reason to go inside. I think it's sad. I mean, the days and times that we live in today, you know, you don't really know uh, much about your neighbors and, and what little you do know, you might not want to know. And during that 2011 visit, police say they found a letter from the post office in the mailbox saying the residents here appear to be vacant and to stop sending mail. Meanwhile, we're waiting on the autopsy report from the medical examiner's office to figure out how these two men died. Obviously, a talker. We're going to keep working and bring you all more once we find out. For now, we're live on Acorn Court in Chattanooga. I'm Jerry Askin. Back to you all.